All right. Welcome. Uh, my name is Anthony Clazy. I am with Holy Athlete Academy. And welcome to day one of our Live for Lives charity drive. We will be offering a live training session um, every day, Monday through Saturday, to raise money for the Save the Children's Coronavirus Response Fund. It will be a very balanced regimen. Um, we're going to be throwing strength conditioning sessions just like this at you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then we've got Mobility and Core with Antonio on Tuesday. We've got um, Sharon Porter leading Pilates for us on Thursdays. And Heather Smith is taking us through yoga on Saturdays. So it's going to be a very balanced regimen. We'll beat you up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we'll throw some different movement at you Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But most importantly, um, this is a way to help those in need using the resources that we have. So I want to thank you in advance for being here and for your donations. Uh, we're going to get started. So let's take you through a quick session breakdown. Come on over here. Day one, strength conditioning. It's like you're here, just like you're at the studio. All right. We've got our connection phase right here. We're going to go through a Wim Hof warm up. Those of you that know me you know how much I love Wim Hof. We're going to do some pairing our breathing to our movement to get started. We'll go phase two into our control. We're going to use some dynamic flow. We've got a series of mobility exercises to get your body primed and ready for our strength circuit. This is phase three. We've got four different exercises. We're running three times through about eight reps each exercise. And um, this is going to be a full body day. And I did it last night, and it beat me up. So I hope you enjoy. We're going to finish ourselves off. We'll build up to the peak of our workout. In our conditioning piece, this is our Tabata intervals. This is going to be some two-to-one work-to-rest ratio. We got two different exercises here, eight, eight times through. Um, it should be about a 35, 40-minute workout when it's all said and done. All right. And I got to suffer with you. So no excuses. Let's get it done. Yeah, welcome to the basement. This is the lab. Okay, we're gonna get kicked it off with some Wim Hof. So open that stance up just a little bit more than shoulder width apart. All we're doing is pairing our movement with our breathing. Okay, so we're gonna inhale in the middle, exhale on the push. Some exaggerated breaths. Inhale, exhale. We're trying to oxygen, oxygenate the system. Okay, it's early. We gotta wake that body up, get that blood flowing, activate those cells through that breathing. We're gonna start off slow today. But we are definitely going to build into some work. So enjoy this while you have it. A couple more. Good. Just work some neck rotations going one way. Keep that breathing. Let those arms hang, go the other way. You're always pressing through your feet, long through your spine, pressing out through the top of your head. You're active through and through. Yeah, let's get some skull tapping. Wake up the, those neurons in your brain. Connect some receptors. Your body goes as your brain goes. So we start here. Just skull tapping all over. Waking up everything. Good. 
Good. We're going to take a few fingers on the back of our head. Okay, this is our medulla oblongata. We are just doing some circular massages in that back head, kind of right where that neck inserts to your skull. Massage one way, massage the other. Switch your circles. You're going to create some resistance against your hand. Press your head back. This is kind of a PNF stretching, just active press. Relax. Couple circles. Couple circles the other way. Push against. And relax. Let's go into our shoulder mobility. We're going two bench presses and a fly. Those elbows back. Big one. Two back. Big one. Two back. Big one. Get about eight of these. Last couple. Good. Back scratchers. You're going to try to touch your fingers behind you. Touch your fingers behind you. Keep that breathing. Pair, it with, pair your breathing with your movement still. So while we started with our Wim Hof, inhale one way. Exhale the other. It's our slow and intentional movements right now. We are just in a warm-up phase, just trying to prime the body, trying to connect, work on our control. Last two. Good. One up, one down. Keep those arms tight. Come back a little bit more on that second pump. Just a little bit more range of motion. Try to keep those biceps close to your ear. That bottom hand close to your waist. Keep everything tight in your midline. Last two. Very nice. Okay. We're going to go into our Atlas high lunge. So our back leg stays nice and straight on our Atlas lunge. We're going to lunge down. Extend that, that back heel towards the wall. Reach. Sink into it. One, two. Step. And reach. We're going to inhale on the down. Exhale, step back. Really fighting to control this movement the best you can. Last one. Good. Now we'll drop that back knee on the lunge just a little bit more. It doesn't need to be as straight, but we're, we're going to reverse lunge and twist. Drop back, sink. We're going to twist over that front leg, reach towards that heel, torso rotation. And up. Breathing, inhale down. Exhale on up. Still fighting to synchronize that breath with our movement. And we're thinking ease of movement right now. Nothing's overworking. Just kind of getting our whole system on board. A perfect balance between fluidity of movement with control of movement. Got to be fluidity and stability. Try to train our body to move efficiently. We're only using what we need in each exercise. To train your body to become efficient. It doesn't do it on its own. It's a mindset. And your breathing really dictates that. Okay, we'll go into our Spider-Man twist. 
we're going to stay low the whole time on these. So we'll drop our hands right next to our foot on our Spider-Man. Enjoy that for a second. And then we're going to twist out. Try to keep that back leg straight here too. Put our hands back down. And we're going to sink down kind of into a frog stance. And then we're going to shoot that opposite leg back to the, go to the other side. Sink in and rotate. Sink in. Drop those hips. Drop it back. Pause your breathing. Beautiful. Single leg RDLs. We're going to need these later. So let's just activate this movement. We're going to reach our arms out, extend that leg back. We're trying to get parallel to the floor. And we're trying to near the floor. So lower body's active. You're pressing your energy through your fingertips, pressing your energy through the top of your head and out the bottom of your foot. And you are active through and through. Come up. And switch. Feel that activity on that back body. Running the length of your spine. Really try to hug the control through your midline, right through the middle of your body. Front side and back side running with your spine. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more each side, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one before we move into our strength. We're going to do side lunge gliders, so we're going to sink into a side lunge. We're going to reach long through that side body, reach way over top. Then we're going to glide and switch. Last two. All right. Okay. I'm going to take you through a quick rundown of our four straight movements, and then we're just going to get right into it. Our first movement is going to be a high lunge to an RDL. So we're going to combine two of the, those mobility movements we did. Okay? We, we did those for, with a purpose. Because we're going to lead into them with our strength. So we're going to go into high lunge, transition right into single leg RDL, transition back and back. Switch it up, alternating steps, come into that single leg RDL, step back and back. So we're just going to keep alternating those back. That really fighting that control, okay? It's not a super easy movement, just a lot of control, a lot of focus through that. Next, after you hit eight and eight there, we're gonna kind of come to a close grip push up. So, this is your grip on the floor. This is too much, just open it up slightly. But the idea is to keep that grip tight, keep those elbows tight in our push ups. We are working four, uh, four and four or eight straight, okay? So you can either do eight straight push-ups. You're coming down, close grip, knee, knee. Okay, 
10. So we're gonna do four there, drop your knees, and finish off with four more if it's too much. You can do all eight on your toes, great. If you need to do all eight on your knees, great, okay? Just get your reps. Push up, knee, knee. Okay, listen to your body this morning, whatever it needs. But ultimately, we're getting eight, eight push-ups to knee, the knee. Next one, we're going to a prison squat. We're going to sink down and we're going to stay down. And this is as high as we're coming through our movement. We're going knee, knee, step, step, stay low. Then switch it, come down with this one. Step, drop back, step up, drop back, step up. Staying low for 16 reps. Last one is going to be our pike push-up. So two variations here too. To get to our pike push-up, this is gonna be kind of a shoulder heavy movement. You're gonna push back into a down dog. Sink your weight back into your hips. Drop your chin and we're working. So shoulder press through the top of our head. Now, progression is gonna be single leg, sending that leg up and working that press there. So we'll work four here, switch, four here, four, eight straight on both feet. Once again, listen to your body, what's, what it's calling for this morning. All right, let's get into it. First one is our high lunge to Superman RDL. Let's go to work. Just a little one second hold and switch. It's one. Really carry the weight of this movement in your hips. Let your the hold in your shoulders sink down and be anchored through your hips. Connect your shoulders and hips. They are one and the same. They will complement each other. Last few, still carry that breath and that movement. That breathing really comes in handy on your strength work because this is when you start losing your breath. Last one each. Good. Close grip push ups. We've got eight. It's going to work. Push up, knee, knee. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Last two. Very nice. Prison squat. Dropping down to our knees. Sink down. We got 16. Let's go to work. Knee, knee. Step, step. Reverse it. Two. 
Stay as low as you can. We're staying low. We're staying loaded. Ready to jump at any moment. Feel that potential of power. We're going to be jumping by the end of this. Just kind of anticipating that. Feeling that potential. Pressing through your feet. Still active through the top of your head. Anchored by your spine. <laughs> Last eight. Stay with your breathing. Just constantly inward focus on what's going on in that body. Never working outside of your breath. Last one. Boom. <clears throat> All right. Final exercise for the set. Pipe push-ups. Remember, two leg or one leg, your call. You got eight total. Let's work. Very nice. All right. Set one done. Got about 15 seconds between sets. Grab a quick drink if you need. All right. Woo! Good. Close your breath. Get set. We've got high lunge to single leg RDL. It's going to work. That's halfway done there. Staying with that breath. Inhale down, exhale out. Each side. Okay, close grip push up. Eight total. Remember, if your form is going, drop to your knees. Okay, we want we want form over just pushing through. Stay in control of your body at all times. Eight reps. Let's work. Four. Last one. Good. We're in the squat. 16 reps. Let's work. Two. Four. Six. Eight. 
10. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Good. And pike push up. Four, four, eight straight. Let's go. Focus that attention through your midline. Beautiful. 15 seconds. Two sets down. One to go. Final strength set. We're just chugging right along through this workout. Here we go. High lunge, single leg RDL. Last time through, eight and eight. To each side. Halfway done. Last couple. Good. Close grip push up. And it's work. Four. Six. Eight. Where's the squats? Let's work. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen last two. And sixteen. Good. Final one. Five push ups. Eight reps. Get it. That's a breather. That's 
last three rounds. Our strength is completed so far. Hope everybody's doing okay. It's not easy. Lips, guys. Glad to see you are here. We miss you guys. Miss the family. I hope you guys are doing really well. And we are excited to see everybody when we can. In the meantime, we're making do. Appreciate you being here. Okay, we have our conditioning peak. We're at the peak of our workout now. Remember, two to one work to rest, a 20 second song, 10 seconds rest. So it's really quick transitions. We do it eight times through these two exercises. First one is going to be going back to kind of our prison squat style, but this time it's going to be a prison split, split squat. I don't know if they do split squats in prison, but they should be. This is going to be a jump switch. Okay, we're in our power phase, our conditioning phase. If you can jump switch, great. You need to step back and just quickly alternate it. Great. Working 20 seconds, and then we're switching. Our second exercise is going to be our core killer. We're going to get long. And through our leg, we're going to hollow our body out, and we're just going to do some straight leg raises, pointing those toes, staying strong through and through. If this is too much, regress. But you want to try to keep that lower back and that tailbone pressed. Draw that belly button to your spine. Keep everything active. So we're going to be working 20 seconds, and we'll pop up. And get right to our next set. All right, let me get my timer out. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're working. Keep that breathing. This is our conditioning piece. And good, rest on our back. Stay nice and long. And work. Tap those heels, lift those toes. Focus on your midline. Turn that focus inward. And good. Three, two, one. Work. And good. Those legs are probably burning right now. That's all right. But maybe me later. Promise. Three, two, one. Leg lift. Three sets down. We got five to go. 
Just start knocking them out. These are our mental sets. Let's go. If you make it through this, this morning, nothing's going to bother you today. Screaming kids, craziness at work, whatever it may be, you are mentally prepped. Nothing's harder than this. Rest. Here we go. Five seconds to go. Work. Good. That's halfway done. It's all downhill from here. We're at the peak. Let's work. Two. One. Hit it. Five seconds. And good. Five down, three to go. Five seconds. Let's work. Body should feel trapped. This is be this is pushing past that threshold. These last two sets. I'm with you. Let's work. seconds work left in the day. 40 seconds. Let's work. Best set yet. Pick up that pace. Good. Woo! I don't care who you are. 
That is not easy right there. Catch your breath. Just do a couple cleansing breaths. Inhale, rise. Exhale, just dangle. Immediately try to let go of some tension. Try to slow that heart rate. Get a little lean over. A couple breaths into the, the tightness of your side body, wherever that may be. Try to expand those areas. A couple breaths the other side. Figure four, just sink into it. The backside might be feeling a little bit tight right now. I know my butt is burning. Those hips open up. Keep sinking that butt a little bit lower towards your heels. A couple more breaths. And switch. Well, just do a little quad stretch. So my thighs burning a little bit too. Switch. All right. Day one complete. You guys made it. Once again, I, I appreciate you being here and I certainly respect you guys being here. 530 in the morning. I know we've been out of our routines and it's tough, but one thing I've learned through through fitness, through through uh, through health and, and wellness coaching is change is, is the best thing for our systems. Getting out of our repetitive movements, whether that's physically or environmentally, we're creatures of habit, and that tends to really wear on our body over time. So any sort of change to our schedule is actually really, really refreshing for our body. So all this, all this we're going through, positive is coming out of this, and uh, we just have to make the best of it. So once again, I appreciate you being here, and um I will see you guys every Monday at 5.30 a.m. Once again, tomorrow, you have Tony Davis, 10 a.m. That's mobility and core work. Wednesday, you have Dan Dunkelman, 5.30 a.m. for your early birds again. Wednesday, Thursday, 10 a.m. Pilates with Sharon. Friday, back to 5.30 a.m. with Lucas. And Saturday morning, 10 a.m., we've got our yoga session with Heather Smith. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Take care.